Well, for, first up, well, Hong Kong's latest ban on the face masks has uh, well backfired as demonstrators take to the streets in defiance of the government's move. Matters went out of control when another police officer fired at protesters in what is being said was out of self-defense. On your screens is the video where the injured officer was seen firing shots after being attacked by demonstrators. Now, Hong Kong's chief executive, Carrie Lam, has said that the violence will not be tolerated and vowed to crack down on rioters. Hong Kong is facing the threat of violence before the government. The government has to take an appropriate measure to prevent violence, to restore the peace of the society, and to ensure the people's rights and freedoms in life. 不容少数暴徒嚟到去破坏。近日嘅大量破坏香港嘅安宁，已经令到市民出行、翻工受到好严重嘅影响。我亦都留意到，今日好多嘅商场都系要关闭，好多嘅商铺都系暂时停止营业。呢啲对香港广泛嘅市民都带嚟咗。極大嘅影響，暴徒嘅極端行為令香港昨晚度過咗非常黑暗嘅一夜，令今日嘅香港社會陷於半癱瘓。大家都好擔心、憂慮，甚至恐懼。特區政府將以最大嘅決心壓止暴力。我呼籲大家支持特區政府依法制暴。一齊譴責暴力，以堅定嘅意志同暴徒割席。Well, the mass protesters formed a human chain in defiance of leader Carrie Lam, who announced emergency laws that would include banning face masks at protests. And joining us now to talk a little bit more about this is Erin Hale, who joins us live from Hong Kong. And Erin, what is the situation like at this point? Just uh, a short while ago, of course, we heard Carrie Lam there in that soundbite saying that we have the greatest determination uh, to come down heavily on any kind of violence. So certainly uh, both sides taking a very strong position of what's happening in Hong Kong at the moment. Uh, Hong Kong is actually surprisingly quiet tonight. Um, the MTR, the subway system, is shut down. A lot of stores closed for the day, and um, also many major malls ahead of possible demonstrations. Um, oddly enough, a lot of protesters decided today would actually be a rest day ahead of tomorrow and possibly Monday, which is a public holiday here. So it's been fairly quiet today. Although you can expect more uh, this weekend. Right, and of course there have been, as we've been reporting, weeks and weeks of protests, Erin, there in Hong Kong. Is there any sort of, uh, uh, you know, de-escalation that you see, any sort of fatigue uh, amongst the residents of Hong Kong? What do they feel about these protests? Certainly there was uh, some fatigue today, as I said, people called for a rest day, and having the subway system shut down and, you know, public transit routes and lives disrupted has been very difficult for normal residents, but I think Carrie Lam's use of the emergency laws has really actually made people very angry. And all she's really done is add fuel to the fire, I think, as people were already getting very tired. Right. And in terms of uh, the long-term solution, I mean, we know that this has gone on on the streets. Any hopes of any back-channel communication, any talks going on between the protesters and the, uh, and the administration at this point? Carrie Lam did hold a talk, um, I believe, last week uh, with a selection of residents chosen from 20,000 um, candidates. It did not go very well. People ended up surrounding the building where she went, held the talk. She was basically hammered for two hours by members of the public. So there really is no sign of de-escalating. And now people are very angry that she's invoked this ordinance, which we'll see a judicial review tomorrow. Uh, some Democratic legislators, legislators have filed with the High Court to possibly have it be thrown out. 